I'm not sure I've managed to deserve the family of friends that surrounds me. My agent, Joe Funicello, my publicist, Pat Kingsley and Jennifer Allen, my lawyer, Matt Saver, my mother, Evelyn, who dreamt it all, my beautiful Sydney, who sticks with me through the rotten and the bliss. Here we all are, after so many years, getting older together, staying young together. Thank you all for holding me and for being in this together. So what's going on there? She's, she didn't actually say hi, I'm gay. She actually just thanked someone. She thanked that, her and she said that yes. she meant a lot to her life and she couldn't yeah. have done it without her. Yeah. Of course, she's been with Cindy Bernard for over 14 years now and she uh, has two sons, presumably with Cindy playing a sort of parental role in that relationship as well. There's a couple of theories. A lot of people say that perhaps now at the age of 44, Jodie Foster doesn't really need to pander to conservative middle America and the kind mm. of roles she takes, and it's not going to affect her acting career. Also, she's moving away from being a strict actress and moving into directing and producing, and perhaps now that she's stepping behind the camera, that sort of thing isn't going to matter as much. Mm. Of course, her sons are also growing up, so maybe now she feels that this is something she can confront more publicly, or maybe perhaps it just was one of those spontaneous things. I yeah. don't think you can ever say really the thing is why does it matter if you're gay in Hollywood I think on the one hand it would affect the public persona you have as a woman especially it would affect the kind of roles you have no matter how you know it is the year 2007 yeah. I do think women largely still have to be very thin very beautiful and very straight to be able to get roles and be able to come a listers to get the box office absolutely type of roles. Um, and I so I definitely think it could affect her career in mm. that sense but you know a lot of the gay publications a lot of gay out websites say that that's not good enough that these people because they are celebrities they ought to be on the front line and they ought to be taking steps mm. to come out out of the closet, so to speak, because they ought to take up these roles of leadership. Whether or not that's true remains to be seen. I mean, I don't really feel why somebody like Jodie Foster, why should she be forced to out of the closet by yeah. the gay media? What about men? I mean, there's always a lot of speculation, which we won't necessarily go into, but a lot of speculation about various top actors, superstars who who some are saying are gay, but you know, they are not confirming nor are they denying. Is it such a sense that, that it really does have an impact on the kind of roles that they're offered? I think absolutely it does, especially for male actors who play action type roles, this sort of thing. I think that is the last, that does is that, one of the last Is divides. that more to say about the studios or is it about the audience? I think it's probably a mutual fear situation whereby the studios are worried about what the audience is going to think. Mm. And ultimately, is an audience really not going to go see a film because somebody in it is gay? I mean, mm. over here, I don't know. It could possibly be the case. But I think it might be somebody is just not willing to take that first step. Yeah. It's like in, in the sports world. I mean, sports celebrities, male sports celebrities, well, it's all right for a female tennis player to come out yeah. as being gay. I mean, it's, I think we're a very long to far, very far away from a male football star saying it's he is. It's very sad, though, isn't it? Very it is. Sad. I mean, ultimately, in an ideal world, somebody like Jodie Foster, it doesn't matter whether she says she's gay or not. She wouldn't have to come out mm -hmm. and admit her homosexuality because it's just part of her private life. Well, no one's going to come out and say, well, they're straight. Exactly. So nobody, I mean, nobody asks, you know, nobody asks Julia Roberts to define her exactly. heterosexuality. It is acting, after all. Yeah, absolutely. It is all just right. acting.